Okay, I'm going to put a nice little um, eggplant on my cheek today. I think I'm going to end up using one color for the eggplant and then uh, shading it, giving it highlights with white and a little bit of low lights with dark basically, instead of using multiple purple colors. Got my mirror set up here so I can see what I'm doing. Very important. And let's just get our outline. I considered starting with the green tip because that kind of sits over top and I don't I don't really like painting over top. Especially with these water-based paints because it all kind of mixes together. So I prefer working in one layer, maybe two if I'm doing like highlights and stuff. So I'm just kind of going to leave space for this green part up here. Hmm, that almost seems like either too wide or too short. So I think I should bring this bottom part up a bit. And I'm going to erase this part just by using water and a paper towel. The water will kind of loosen it and the paper towel will just dab it off. Not bad. Uh, in real life it still gives a little bit of a purple tint, but... Whoa. <laughs> See how the shape totally distorts depending on how I move my mouth? Hmm, <laughs> that's fun. Okay. Like that. I think I should be able to fit on the stem on top there. So I'm just going to paint in the rest of the body. So when doing stuff like this that you really start noticing every single pore and tiny little like baby fuzz hair. <laughs> what do they call that? There's actually a word for those hairs. I honestly think this is maybe a little bit too light of a color for an eggplant. Maybe I should have chosen a darker purple, but let's see how it dries. And I'm going to put on some green for the stem. I'm using the Amazon Green from Paradise Makeup AQ. I'm going to use a smaller brush. So that's a pretty small part. So just kind of finished off the round. I'm seeing here I don't quite like how curved it's going up to my eye here. It should be a little bit more straight if you look at the eggplant emoji, but sometimes it's good to not copy things exactly and just, you know, like eggplants have different shapes. It doesn't need to be perfect. Usually I listen to music, uh, but I just know it would be like a copyright thing, right? That's wrapping around and this comes over top of there. Kind of all blending in together right now but when I add in the shading it should just pop. <laughs> Hopefully that's the plan. I do have a darker green so I don't have to go straight to black for some of these bits and this brush has a really pointy tip so I should be able to just come in here and 
just softly <laughs> watch that tongue coming out Good. Grab my white. I don't want this pure white. I just want it to lighten up a couple of the highlight areas. A little bit too much white. As the white dries, it tends to fade a bit as well, so but I'll just blend it in there a bit. Damn, like as I was doing this, I was like, I haven't smiled for a bit, I should smile. And that, of course, moved the eggplant. Neutral expression as we paint, please. Use a few shadows. And use black to pick up these shadow regions. And I'm also going to use black and I will blend this in with some of the darker spots I want on the eggplant. As long as you've got enough water on your brush, but not enough that it runs away, it should blend together. Sometimes what I do here as well is I'll like put some purple on my brush if I find it's lifting the color too much. And I didn't like how severe this angle was here, so I'm just going to grab some more purple and bring that in a bit. There we go. A little bit of a curve, but not crazy, right? There are two highlights on this emoji. And one is big all along here. Get it out of the base here. my brush I don't want to get purple into my white so after I blend in I gotta clean it up again and then there's one highlight down here hmm don't quite like how it's turning out. Something's just wrong with the purple shadings. Do I have a different color of purple I could use? I'm gonna bring in some of this. It's called violet. And see if I can just make this eggplant look a little bit better. I meant to just bring in a little bit and then it turned out to be a lot. Okay. 
so that I'm just gonna keep working with it. Because unless I basically start completely over, which I'm not gonna do. This is what we got. I do like that a bit better though, to be honest. Okay, I got some outside the lines here. Clean it up with some water. If I really wanted to make sure I had clean lines, I could outline it in black or give it a background. What do you think? Does it look like the eggplant emoji? You seeing it? Thanks for painting with me. See you next time.